Noob review. Do you need a room for the night? My, my. You certainly do look exhausted, don't you? Well, then, I'll get a room ready for you. Right this way, if you don't mind. I'll be happy to show you to your room. I must say, we don't often receive guests at this hour. Perhaps you've somehow managed to lose your way. Or, oh, or maybe you've just lost your mind. That was a joke. <laughs> Have a pleasant sleep, my friend. You'll be needing it, believe me. <laughs> well, <clears throat> hello and welcome to another NoobReview.com Retro Quick Look. And today we're playing Gregory Horror Show. I'm joined by Adam Radcliffe. Can I just say that was one of the creepiest intros I think I've ever experienced. That's right, it definitely is. This is a very creepy game. And we're also joined by Mr. Kieran Roycroft, the Noel Edmonds of podcasting. Oh, thank you. I'd like to second that. That was... I was disturbed. I, I'd heard this game was a little bit scary. Well, a little bit creepy, but I, I wasn't expecting that quite so much. Yes. What what game is this actually? Re what was it released on? Just out of interest. It was released on the PlayStation Two, and it's actually made by Capcom, and it's based on a, uh, a cartoon that ran for four series called Gregory Horror Show. Oh, okay. Because I was I was just wondering that that little cutscene at the start actually looked really good, like, but better than I thought it was going to look. It's just weird. Uh, yeah, definitely. There's something to be said for this kind of basic but clean and rich art style because it it, it kind of transcends generations, doesn't it, without looking terrible? Yeah. Reminds me a little bit of Grim Fandango, in a way. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit Minecrafty as well. Yeah. And Luigi's Mansion, definitely picking up some Luigi's Mansion vibes here. And some Animal Crossing vibes. <laughs> yeah. Talking to animals. Yeah. But yes, the, the basic aim of this game is, uh, this is going to sound a little odd, but you play as a either a male or a female character that is checked in to Gregory House, which is a creepy hotel. And your aim is to collect souls from all of the strange guests that are staying at the hotel and deliver them to death in your dreams. So basically, it's, it's a murder simulator. In a way, you don't actually kill them. Everyone's got a, a soul, uh, a kind of a blue floating soul that follows them round. Right. And, so you're um, stealing you souls. This is very unethical. Yeah, basically. It is, it is unethical, yes. And the way in which you do it is it's kind of like a, a stealthy stalker game. Ideal for you then, Adam, in that case. No. Oh, God. A key gameplay element is peering in through keyholes and spying on people and let, waiting for them to disclose Actually, their secrets. Actually, now I mention it, not only does he have a square-shaped head like you, Adam, he's also a little bit ginger. Are you sure this game wasn't based on you? Well, I, did, I remember too going to that hotel one time and going mad and stealing and a lot of things from people. But uh, I didn't realise that there was somebody watching me the whole time. They were making notes. <laughs> so they could make a game out of it. What? But it's, it's, is he looking for you now, then? You're not supposed to be No, he's just doing his rounds at the hotel because it's nearly one o'clock in the morning. Oh, he's just checking everything safe. How vigilant. <laughs> yes, everyone has got a routine. Uh, and so you need to do different things at different times. So, for instance, if you want to spy on a certain character, you need to make sure that they are... You know, it's at a time when they are going to be stationed in a room. Right. This looks more like a prison than a hotel. Well, yes, Neko Zombie, which uh, is, is, a, is a cat, has been locked in this cell because she crossed Gregory. and uh, or, or was it he, actually? Anyway, Neko Cat crossed uh, Gregory what the? at some point. Oh, my God. Oh, this, is so good. this is like something out of a really bad nightmare. I'm going to have nightmares after watching this video. 
But yeah, this is an example of some of the more uh, varied gameplay, I suppose, because this character, Catherine, is very uh, hostile towards you. Right. So in order to get a soul from her, you need to trick her, basically, or catch her in a trap. Okay. Um, I, I, I've cut out a lot of the uh, the actual grind of setting up the trap, but you'll see it in a few moments. Oh, cool. I like the contrast of sort of a... It's like a cartoony theme with adult... <laughs> it's a really adult elements in it. Like the, like yeah, definitely. Uh-oh, trouble. <laughs> oh. oh, that face makes me want to do terrible things oh. to you. That's weird. <laughs> It is, isn't it? It's getting slightly... It's, it's getting erotic. The crazy thing is, I actually want to play this game now. <laughs> you definitely should, because I've I've only played a couple, the first couple of hours of it, but I really loved it. Um, if I didn't have so much to do, I'd play more of it. <laughs> but you can look at the map at any point, and it shows you the location of all of the guests that are currently in the hotel. Right. And eventually there are twelve. Ah, so that's you laying the trap there then, throwing the, the banana skin. Yeah. The classic banana skin. Yep, now she's fallen over, banged her head. She's probably seriously injured. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go and steal her soul. Don't worry Why about is she carrying around your giant syringe? She loves drawing blood from people she doesn't like. Oh, right, well... In fact, you'll see an example of that later because once you uh, take somebody's soul, if they're hostile towards you, you need to avoid them from then on because they will chase you and attack you. Right, okay. <laughs> so here's an example of what happens. Do so You can see I've got that multicoloured meter around my character's icon. That's my psychological health. <laughs> right. Uh, if I get captured, which you know, I think I will just let her catch me in a minute so you can see, she will basically attack me and it will damage my psychological health. Right, so apart... You don't really lose actual health, you just go mental. Yeah, and if you go completely mental, then you you end up staying in the hotel forever and will never leave. Ah, okay. That makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> but you can replenish your mental health by uh, reading books or taking green herbs. Oh, ah, obviously. yes. And I think, oh, there we go. Because everybody knows Green Hence Hood. why it's a Capcom game. <laughs> exactly. But here's an example of a later mission where you have to spy on characters to find out how to progress. And uh, Gregory has managed to lose one of his precious books. In actual fact, it's his grandson, I think his name's James, has stolen it and hidden it somewhere. Um, but the reason I stopped peeping through the door and walked away is because if he catches you spying then you get in trouble. Oh. I don't think he actually hurts you. He just, he just but... locks you in a cell like that other person for the rest of the journey. <laughs> Poor Nico zombie. <laughs> so in order to solve the puzzle, you have to spy on his grandson as he mutters to himself about how clever he is. And it's in Catherine's room, the lady that hates us. Oh, with brilliant. The syringe. Oh, dear. <laughs> but something I neglected to check is <laughs> she was in the room next door and now she's come out and she's chasing Oh, God. Me. They're chasing through doors and, as well. It's, it's, yeah. No escaping. You don't run very no fast, do you? No, you don't, because you've got stubby little block legs. <laughs> <laughs> but because this hotel is actually fairly small it makes it really quite challenging to juggle your objectives and avoid your enemies huh. although she just tripped on something again I'm not sure what it's probably that gigantic syringe she's been carrying around <laughs> that's got to be a trip hazard but now that she's stopped chasing me I can go and get the book from her room which turns out to be a dirty oh, book yeah. oh, man. brilliant <laughs> yeah, just brilliant. when I thought this Gregory's game porn. couldn't get more worse <laughs> Gregory's porn show. Ah, how nice Say to cool. see you. And what can I do for you? <laughs> <laughs> That's his special Where book. did you find that book? <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. You found it in Catherine's room. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> this is quite serious. Not only serious, very awkward. Indeed. <laughs> awkward. 
Ah, I see um, what you I'm not going to give it to him. I'm keeping it. <laughs> I mean, I think you've probably got a, a decent enough sense of what this game is like now. So we'll probably wrap up. I was really that. engrossed in it. Yeah, I'm me. Well, I recommend you track a copy down if you've still got a working PS2. And I don't know how expensive it is. Emulate it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Not that we uh, advocate that sort of thing. <clears throat> just finally, before we go, though, I just want to show an example of... Um, the, the little bits of information you can pick up if you spy on other characters that don't relate to your mission. So you can see there's a sleeping symbol on that door indicating there's someone asleep in there. Right. So you can spy on them while they're asleep and pick up a little bit of extra information. Side quest. Again, weird. <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> this is just what I do at the weekend. Thank you for playing. Presented by Noob Review.